How's it going everyone, Bros, I'm here and welcome to another PS5 related video. So uh, today developer Gajana released Lua Core version 1.0, which is a user land exploit for PS5, uh, technically up to 12.40, but there's uh, an issue with uh, PS5 firmware above 8.00, we're going to discuss that later, but for now we're going to just read through the GitHub. Lua Core is a Masti Core variation that uses Lua scripting for easier exploit development. So this is the GitHub page of Lua Core and you can go ahead and read through it and uh, also you can download the uh, exploitable save from here. So you can download Lua Core from here. So uh, this works on PS4 and also on PS5 and it requires the disc or digital version of Star Wars but it has to be the USA region. So here you can see the issue uh, from PS5 firmware 8.00. Sony has blocked socket creation with non-AF Unix domains. So this means that above 8.00 we cannot uh, use the network, cannot create sockets so we can send payloads. So this is the issue with Lua Core for now. But uh, in this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you how to set up uh, Lua Core through a, a backup without uh, having a PSN account, but this will wipe your PS5. So take that into consideration. This will wipe all of your uh, PS5 data. If you have nothing on it, then go ahead with the, the uh, restoring. If you have important data, make sure that you back it up and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So to set up Lua Core, we're gonna have to download the backup, which was uh, shared by uh, Console Hacks. And then you're gonna have to format a USB drive as XFAT or FAT32, so that the PS5 can recognize it. So that's the first step you need to do. You need to download the backup and you need to have a USB drive. Now, when you have the PS5's backup, you need to go ahead and extract it. Once it's done extracting, go ahead and check it out if it has uh, all the files. This is the structure of this folder. It's PS5. And then when you open it, there's export and then backup and then the date. And there you have it, the archive. So what we're going to do is send this folder as it is. Just copy it as it is. Or cut it and then you just paste it inside the USB drive and that's pretty much all you have to do we're gonna go ahead and plug in the USB onto the PS5 and again make sure that you back up all of your important data before you do this so on the PS5 we're gonna go to the settings and then scroll down to system we're gonna go to backup and restore restore your ps5 and here you should see the uh, usb drives uh, this is because i have two partitions i'm just gonna select the second one and here you see the backup appearing so if you see the backup appearing that means you have successfully set up the usb drive now click on restore and here you click on yes and then the PS5 will restart. So beyond this point there is no return, the PS5 will start restoring and it will start wiping the uh, data and that's pretty much uh, all you have to do for now. You just have to wait for the PS5 to restart and then it will it will restore the backup. Now, uh, after the PS5 restores the backup uh, and restarts, it will rebuild the database and then it will take you to the sign in page. All right, now you can see, press the PS button on the controller. OK, so here's the user. Press X and OK to, to log in and there you have it. Now you have the uh, web browser here, the shortcut for the web browser. And if we go to media, we should see Y2JB and Netflix here. 
So that means we have successfully restored the backup. Now what I'm going to do is uh, check the storage, the installed apps and the, the saves. So here games and apps, we see here we have three apps installed, the internet browser shortcut, Netflix and YouTube. And that's all the apps that are here. Now we're going to go check the saves. To check the saves, we need to go to the PS4 section. We go to saved data. And then from saved data, we check PS4 games because the uh, Star Wars game is a PS4, PS2 emulated PS4 game actually. And here is the save and there's also Winter Guest, which is the uh, Lua game completely unrelated to this video so that's pretty much it this is the save this is the ps4 save it's present what we have to do now is go and set up a network connection and uh, for this video it's kind of point pointless because i'm on 11.20 we can't even create socket that we cannot even use the internet with the uh, star wars game but just for the case of showing uh, we're going to have to uh, install the Star Wars game right now and then set up an internet connection. So here you have Star Wars Racer Revenge game being installed. Of course, once you reset your PS5, you're going to have to install the game again. So take that into consideration. Just waiting for the game to finish uh, installing. And then we're going to go ahead and set up an internet connection with DNS so we can uh, block the updates. Now we're gonna go to the settings, go to network, and we need to go to uh, settings, then set up internet connection. And we're gonna scroll down all the way, just scrolling down all the way, down till you see set up manually, then use Wi-Fi enter manually and here you're going to have to enter the uh, network connection name yeah your connection name mine is simply named network so you have to look up your ssd name and here we're going to select the uh, security method which is wpa2 and then we're going to scroll down to password and type our password for pretty much everything else, you should not touch or change anything except the DNS settings. We're going to select manual and then we're going to select the primary DNS and change only the primary DNS. The second DNS should remain uh, zero. So let me go ahead and fetch the uh, primary DNS, which is 62. 210.38.117 press R2 to save and then click on done it should connect to your Wi-Fi and then when it tries to access the internet it should show an error okay it's failed so that means it's connected to your Wi-Fi, but because the DNS is working. Now we're going to go ahead and check it if it's working by going to guide. And there you have it. The uh, DNS is uh, working fine. So uh, by doing this, we ensure that the updates are blocked and uh, the, the console will not uh, accidentally update itself. So now that we have that uh, working, we're going to go ahead and run the game to test if the save is working. So uh, this one is not like the uh, Artemis Lua exploit where you just launch the game and the save is automatically loaded and then you, uh, you will uh, immediately see your IP address and the port. So this for this one, we have to go to the uh, options so scroll down to options and then we're going to scroll down to Hall of Fame. This one right here and you should see the exploit running. Mounting save data, Masticore initialized and there you have it mounted 
save data at save data zero. So the exploit is actually working, but because uh, Sony has blocked socket creation on firmware that is above 8.00, as uh, the developer said, we cannot use the internet with the PS2 uh, emulator and we cannot, therefore we cannot send payloads and stuff. So this is where the test ends if you are above 8.00. Now let's take a look at someone else's uh, video, uh, console hacks video, which is on a lower firmware and it, the exploit loads and they can actually uh, send payloads to the PS5. So if you have a PS5 that is below 8.00 firmware, you will be able to see this notification here and you will see that the uh, Lua Core 1.00 and Remote Lua Loader is listening on your IP address and as you can see here, he is able to send the uh, notifications. So this works on firmware that is below 8.00. As we can see here uh, in this description from uh, the developer, uh, from PS5 firmware 8.00, Sony blocked socket creation and uh, that's the situation right now that's what's blocking uh, the uh, exploit to be chained with the flows kernel exploit the net control exploit so uh, the developers are now working on uh, either making the socket work or finding uh, an alternative and that's pretty much the whole situation with this lua core right now for firmware above 8.00 the network does not work on ps2 emulator and for firmware below 8.00 it works just fine for the ps4 it has no issues uh, this works just fine on ps4 this is just uh, only an issue on ps5 and uh, that's pretty much it we just have to wait and see what happens with uh, this uh, exploit so that's all for this video and uh, i hope that this was helpful to you that's all for now. Take care and I will see you soon.